色方面嘛，主要就是说，呃，也看根据大的社会环境，都是黄军长，你一个人穿着那个花花花的衣服，人家去也也有点。China was a different place 50 years ago, from 1949 to 1976, when the communism political campaign was at its high tide. China was kept in quarantine away from capitalism and globalization. Women's pursuit of feminine beauty was suppressed under the unisex utilitarian belief of socialism, as manifested by Mao's famous slogan, women hold up half the sky. 天。As a result of CCP's propaganda, the national clothing style was stoical and androgynous. John Berger claims in Ways of Seeing that a woman's self-image is built upon appreciating herself through others' eyes. Concurrently, a woman's appearance is also a reflection of her taste. However, China in the pre-reform era propagated a homogenized proletariat image by insisting that a genuine communist does not bother with clothing, preoccupied instead with revolutionary struggle. Under this social structure, it was harder to express one's taste through dress appearance. However, there did exist a system of political hierarchy built through detail. According to Pierre Bourdieu, the consumption of culture and art is predisposed to legitimize social differences. Thus, even in pre-reform China, the personal pursuit of self-image and aesthetics differences was displayed in the detailed treatment in their clothing. It seems this enthusiasm for self-expression is always present even in the highly conforming aesthetics of socialism. Mm. 
好浪费，能穿的衣服就要穿，以前不好扔掉。对对对，以前衣服穿过很多补丁。哎，还有补丁的，我们那个时候上班还是跑丁裤嘞，老大穿老二的，老二穿老三的。哦，都是苦的。哎，你现在穿衣服喜欢穿什么样的颜色？我啊，哎，大红色，大红的，小李。